This uh, next video or lesson is based on the concept of ifs again. But we're going to change the if a little bit to use these things called um, well, nested ifs or grouped ifs. Um, in this example, it's still the weather idea of raining, sunny, and frosty. Um, there are ifs in it, but in reality, what happens is one if will be checked, which is this one here. And if that if uh, isn't correct or true, it will automatically say, well, or else this if. And if that if isn't automatically true or correct, I'll do it all, or else this if, which is here. And if none of these three ifs are activated, therefore it's not raining, it's not sunny, it's not frosty, I'll carry out this thing called an else. So if all these ones above it are never correct or true or activated, else is activated instead. Right? It's a, it's a nice way of uh, putting in a little bit of uh, error trapping as well. So I'm going to put the code in again. So we'll start off with a nice little message to the user. Enter, in fact, not enter. What is the weather like? Question mark. And we'll put in the usual words raining, sunny, or frosty only. So we had that on a previous program already. So this will be S weather. It's equal to the input. Make sure it's lowercase for the checking as well. And then beyond that, we'll do some ifs now. If S weather is equal to, and the first one is a little bit raining, raining, that's the first if, what do you want to happen? Wait, print something out, just bring it back a bit, and it. print, take an umbrella for that one there. Now instead of saying if here, I'm going to use LF. So that's the idea of else if, else if the weather is equal to sunny, call on in again, and again back to the print, if we want to happen, take some sunglasses, and the next one again, it's not just if, it's elif, weather, is equal to frosty again print take a scarf and gloves and then a very final one is just else on its own oh, typo there notice a the color change there you go and this would be the one if none of the ifs are activated or correct or true you must enter sunny, frosty, or raining only. And we'll save that and see what we get. Now we need to get some sort of name here. So I'll put it in my usual place and I'll call this weather if else. And we'll test this out now. Oh, it tells me I've got some sort of typo here. Not sure what it is. Um, what we'll do is, I'll see if there's any blank space here. Don't see any blank space there, to be honest. Ah, if you look, there's the quotes there. I missed a quote out. Let's tell me, ah, you've made a mistake here. Put a colon there as well, so colons after every one of the if, l, f, and else lines. So I'll just type in some gibberish to activate the very last one, which is the else, and it does say you must enter frosty or sunny or raining, which means this line of code's been activated because it didn't satisfy any of the other ones above it. Let's test it again with sunny. Works fine. And the other ones as well. Frosty. Happy with that. And raining. Obviously put a capital to test it as well. Happy with that as well. So that's the worked example there.